The first method for time management in this module is long-term planning. Long-term planning gives us a broad picture of what comes ahead. Long-term planning for college courses helps give an overview of what you need to do in the next few weeks or months and can help you plan your time appropriately. One tool that helps with long-term planning is a term at a glance. To fill in your term at a glance worksheet, you will start by adding the dates to your calendar. The next step of filling out a term at a glance is probably the most time intensive of the process and it requires attention to detail. Use the syllabus from each of your classes to note the required assignments, exams, projects, or papers and their due dates on the calendar. The amount of detail you choose to add is up to you. If you have room to list reading assignments, this may be a helpful way to keep track of them. If you don't, make sure to write them down somewhere else or regularly consult your syllabus, online course page, or planner. The next step is to add in any personal plans or obligations that might impact your long-term planning. Again, the amount of detail you choose to include is up to you. In general, you don't need to list every lunch date or coffee break, but you'll want to include larger activities that might have an impact on your ability to study, particularly if they overlap with important study weekends. Now it's time to analyze. If we look at this completed term at a glance, what do you notice? It seems like week seven is a really busy week. Seeing this, I might choose to plan ahead and spread out the work by starting early, weeks five or six. Week four isn't too bad, but it is the weekend after my sister's wedding, so I might not have done much homework over that weekend. That's another opportunity to plan ahead and get my work done the week before. Planning ahead like this will decrease your stress levels significantly when busy times arise. Finally, you'll want to make sure to post this calendar somewhere you can see it, in your bathroom, near your bed, in the front pocket of a folder or binder you use, or you can take a picture of it with your cell phone. The important piece is that you place it somewhere where you see it regularly.